Perch viewers, Chef Kimberly with you again today. I have the brand ambassador, Chef Sharon, with me. Hi, welcome. Hi, Hi Kimberly. <laughs> Thanks for coming here. Yes, we are actually in Irvine, California at the Middle B showroom. And if you have not seen this amazing showroom, I totally recommend coming here. And you get to meet this wonderful person that I am Thank just you. enjoying cooking Thank with. You. We're so happy to have you here. Yes, I'm excited. So we have a special treat for you today. We are doing a holiday inspired menu, but it is all outdoors. So Chef Sharon, can you tell us what we're cooking on? Absolutely. We're going to cook on the Lynx flat top grill. We're going to cook on the Lynx regular grill and we're going to cook on the Lynx Napoli oven. Yes. Uh, and what we're going to get started with today is our lamb leg, which I think is a little twist on, you know, the traditional holiday. People just think like turkeys and ham. I think this is a nice little selection of meat. Um, and then with that, we're going to be doing a roasted honey nut squash um, couscous with a little bit of quinoa in there and other grains. So I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up some herbs. And if you would like to get the butternut squash ready for our couscous. Absolutely. We're going to be roasting them. Yes. Perfect. Look how cute they are, too. They are so cute. That's why I got them, honestly. I was just like, these are so cute. I have um, my first time cooking with them. I've never really cooked with them, but I saw them and I was like, these are too cute to pass over. They are too <laughs> cute to pass over. So with the sage, we're just going to chop it up nice and fine in rosemary. So it's like two to one ratio of ro uh, sage to rosemary. So I'll have yeah, I'll watch you throw that in there. <laughs> um, so this slides right open. So this is like perfect to reach in there. You know what? I love that this slides out because sometimes when I'm using certain pizza ovens, if it's so hot in there, you're trying to get a pan in there, you're like burning, you're like scorching right. your hairs right. off your arm. And this is really nice too, is you can actually take the door off. Oh, wonderful. So, if you want to run a cooler oven or if you really need to get in there and be able to maneuver, it's nice that this removable yes. door comes right out. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, I'm not, I can't tell you how many times I've like burned myself oh, yeah. <laughs> from just reaching into the oven. Well, that's why so many of us chefs have tattoos on our arms just to cover a lot of burn <laughs> Although scars. Burn, yeah, I have no tattoos on my arms, <laughs> but I do have plenty of burn marks. I used to be a baker, so that was just like a normal thing every day is like burning myself on the oven. All right, so what I did with this lamb is we marinated the day before. I put a little salt and pepper on there. Uh, I actually found this mustard. I love using mustard with lamb because I feel like it kind of cuts from the gaminess. So I found this Russian mustard. I had no idea what it was, but I was like, this sounds interesting, right? Um, and it was sweeter. We would yeah. say like a little sweeter than regular mustard. So I did a one-to-one -one ratio of the Russian mustard and then just like a regular um, stone ground mustard. That's all we did, just salt and pepper. And then now we're going to take our herbs and we're just going to cover it with it. Just give it like a nice herb crust. Yeah, that mustard was really tasty. I think I'll buy that. Yeah, it mustard. was really good. I was like, I don't know what, I was like, I don't know what this is, but sounds interesting. That's how you discover cool things. Yeah. It's just by trying it. Sometimes you just it. have to try it. Yep. Can't be scared. <laughs> And I just trusted it a little bit with some butcher's twine because the bone felt like it was a little loose. So I don't want my bone to fall out while it's on the rotisserie. And then you don't want to waste anything. So I'm kind of just scooping this kind of up. Yeah. Okay. I love lamb. It's like one of my favorite <laughs> dishes. <laughs> Before I was a vegan, lamb chops it was like your thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love lamb chops. <laughs> yeah, me too. With this, you're kind of gonna run it off to the side away from the bone, but not too close to the edge because then you don't want your lamp to fall off. <laughs> it's pretty easy to get through. I've actually had a harder time doing pineapple. <coughs> Maybe not. <laughs> oh my gosh, she just squirted at me. <laughs> No ah. bell peppers. So it's about right there. And I'm just going to push it towards the middle. So with this, um, I'm going to have the two side burners on. There's a total of three burners on the on the grill, right? It's a 30 inch grill. I'm going to have the two side burners on and then I'm going to have the infrared um, rotisserie burner on in the back as well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead. You're ready Do you to mind go in? opening that for me? Absolutely. Okay, so this goes right on this side. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the middle one off. Okay, so now we have the infrared rotisserie burner on, and then I went ahead and put a little drip tray on the bottom just to catch all those juices. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And I want my oven to stay about 350 for the most part, um, and it's gonna take about 40 minutes, depending what size lamb you have. Um, I always check it about 30 minutes to make sure that the internal temperature is about 135. I want it to be like a medium, you know, medium to medium rare. So we're gonna let that lamb um, cook and then we'll come back. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the couscous part of our dish. What I did is I had my pot here kind of preheating on the grill. I have it on uh, griddle, I have it on high. I'm gonna take a little olive oil. Pour that in there, just a little bit. Then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of oregano, kind of chop it up. So I'm just gonna toss that in there. You could already hear that sizzle. Kind of just toasting it a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll take my stock. I'll wait for that to come to a boil or simmer. Add a little pinch of salt. All right, so once that comes to simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and add my couscous and then cover it. And it should be about 20 minutes until it's done, right? Okay, so you think those veggies are ready to come out? I think the veggies yes. are absolutely ready to come out. <laughs> I could smell them from here, smell. like, oh. That's always squash. a sign when something's almost done is when you when smell it. You can it. smell it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then our water, oh, yeah. our broth has come to a boil. So once she gets those out, we're going to let them cool down. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my couscous. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful oh, that see is. See that nice oh, roast? That's so cute. <laughs> I can't get over them. I can't They're wait so... to buy these. They're yeah, adorable. right? Like individually stuffed. Or like, like Hasselback. I was thinking like Hasselback. Like, like Hasselback style. with like a nice little crust on top. Maybe like a peacock crust that we're doing with the asparagus. Oh, That'd yeah. be nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I'm gonna add my couscous. That couscous is really pretty. It is. I got this at Trader Joe's. They have like a bag of it. So just giving that a little stir. And I soaked it for a little bit, um, just cause some of those grains will take a little longer than the couscous. Go ahead and cover that and then just let it cook. Perfect. And then once those cool down, we're probably just gonna chop it up so we can add into it. We're gonna, gonna add delicious. this back in. It's gonna be great. And I can yeah. tell that this was done just by inserting a knife and see how tender it is. That was 15 minutes roasting. That is so, that is so fast. fast. Yes, I'm like, jinx, personal jinx. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so it's been about 20 minutes for our couscous mix. It's all ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and go behind you and pull that. It, it smells, smells unbelievable. Right? Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in a bowl while you go ahead and dice up that squash. I'm gonna dice up the squash. I'm gonna scoop this out of the skin. Oh, that just looks amazing. Right, in this black bowl, right? All these colors, all these fall colors in here. It's a little bit of brown, some red, orange, green. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt to this. Some pepper with my giant pepper shaker. I cannot wait to dive into this. <laughs> oh, here next to just being a fool. I know, I love it. <laughs> Well, this is going to be good. I'm going to make you stick around here. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. All right. So we have the roasted peppers. I'm going to go mm -hmm. in. Nice. And then the shallot is in here as well, too. And we have the caramelized shallot. Oh, but these colors are so beautiful. It's just really nice. I'm going to leave this a little chunky. Okay. I love this. This is going to be so nice under the lamb. It's like this little bed of color for the lamb. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle a little bit of olive oil in here. It just can't hurt. Nope. This looks amazing. All right. If you don't tap your spoon hard, you're not doing it right, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Look at this color on here. It's beautiful. Look at that. That is so beautiful. It smells delicious. I could like dip my head in here. Oh yeah. my God. 
All right, so now we just gotta wait for our lamb to be ready and we can plate this on a nice, beautiful platter as if you're serving Thanksgiving dinner, right? All right, so we just pulled out our lamb off of our rotisserie. It was at about 135 and then we let it rest and it's gonna come up to temp a little bit too. So depending how you like it, I always recommend taking it out about five degrees at the temperature that you want it to be final. Look at this beautiful crust. Yeah, that crust is amazing. It's amazing. See, even our vegan chef agrees. It looks yeah. good, <laughs> right? <laughs> the crust looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this butcher's twine. Our couscous is ready. That's gonna go on the bottom of the dish and give it a nice little pop of color. So if you want to go you ahead and start, yeah, start course. doing that part while I do this. So you have two choices. You could carve into this or you could give this to one person. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> Look at that color. Oh, this just... The squash almost like kind of changed the color of the couscous. It really did. It screams fall. Nothing like that sound of spoon oh on gosh. stone. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> nails on a chalkboard. All right, so this has rested. We're just going to go ahead and plate that on there on the plate. Chef Sharon's going to add some beautiful herbs to that. Tuck some herbs in there. Because you eat with your eyes first. You do. Right? I always say that. You eat with your eyes first. Look at that. It looks amazing. Uh, if, I don't know. Like nothing screams fall like this dish. Like <laughs> This looks amazing. I am so ready for the holidays. All right, so for our viewers, if you'd like to see more of our holiday dish series with the Lynx Outdoor Grills, please visit our YouTube channel or go to perch.com to find a showroom nearest you. And Chef Sharon, thank you so much for having me here today. It's been wonderful. Thank if you'd like you. to come and visit her, please stop by, right? Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching and joining us here at the Middle Bee Showroom in Irvine, California. Yeah. And thank you, Chef Kim. Yeah. yeah I, I, it's you, been wonderful. Yes, you've shared some amazing recipes with us. I'm excited for everyone else to try it. So thank you for watching. Thank you.